Welcome back to a new machine learning tutorial. In this video, we are going to talk about the laser predict, which is a tool that helps us training more than 20 machine learning models with just a single line of code. I'm going to be explaining how we can use it and what kind of models it trains and when it's useful. Let's start coding. Okay, I'm in a Google Colab notebook. You can use a code editor like VS Code if you want, it doesn't matter. And for the start, we need to install the laser predict. So I will say pip install laser predict and when this finishes i'm going to be recording back okay it's finished laser predict can be both used for classification and regression tasks and in this video we are going to be doing the both so let's start i'm going to start with a classification task so let's say import laser predict and we will say from laser predict that supervised import lazy classifier next we are going to import train test split and make classification from scikit-learn we will say from scikit-learn.datasets import make classification for data creation and from scikit-learn.model selection import train test split i'm going to make this cell run and i was going to use a reward data set but in the comments, most of the viewers want a generated data because you can also create the data with the video. So I'm going to be using that. I'm going to be listening to my viewers. I will say make classification. And let's say number of samples. I'm going to set this like 2000. And I'm going to say number of features 20. And it's going to be enough and let's see our x here we have a data like this and on our target we are going to see that we have a binary classification problem we have ones and zeros great now we are going to split our data into training and testing sets for the modeling side i will say x train x test y train and y test and it's going to be accurate to the train test split and next I'm going to pass X, Y, and I'm going to pass the test size of 0 0.25, which means that 20%, 25 of my data is going to be in the testing set. So when I make this run, we are going to see that 25% of the data from the 2000 rows is going to be in the testing set, which is 500. Great, now we can use laser predict. Firstly, we are going to initialize the lazy classifier. And classifier is going to be equal to the lazy classifier, like this. Next, we are ready to fit and predict using laser predict. Firstly, I don't want to see any type of depreciation errors. So I will say import warnings. And I will say warnings, filter warnings and I will pass ignore in here. So now we can train our models. I will say models is going to be classifier.fit. I will pass x train, x test, y train, and y test like this. And it's going to run. And I'm waiting for it to finish. And it's finished. Now we can get our models. Like I'm just going to make them print on the Jupyter cell like this. Here it is. Also, if you want a more readable table, you can just do, I'm going to add something like underscore and I'm going to retrain them. And I'm waiting for this to finish, to train all the models. Now I'm going to get the models on the Jupyter cell and we have a better looking table. So let's talk about this. At the first place, we can see that it trained a lot of models like here, it goes with light GBM classifier, random force classifier, XGBoost classifier, extra trees. We can see dummy classifier, decision tree classifier, and it sorts the classifier it trained based on the accuracy. So we have accuracies around 0 0.97, 0 0.96, and at the last place, we are seeing dummy classifier after the extra trees classifier. And we can also see the other metrics like the balanced accuracy f1 score and we can also see that the time taken to train this model and it's easy to train these models like this also 
I want to mention a really important thing. It is training the base models. Like it's not doing any kind of hyperparameter tuning or trying to optimize the model. So this needs to be used for just getting a general information an overview of the machine learning model suitability on your data because maybe I'm just giving an example XGBoost classifier is ranked as the fifth best model in your model table but with the good parameter setup maybe it can be the first and it can get accuracy of 0.96 so when you are doing modeling it's really important to tune the parameters and try to find the best version of the models. But this is a really good overview and it can be used for getting general insights quickly. So here we have this code. We just used this and initialized it for training these match models. Now we are going to do the same for a regression task. So let's go and create a new code cell. And in here we are going to say from scikit-learn that data sets import make regression and also we are going to say from lazy predict that supervised import lazy regressor and this time firstly I need to fix the typo lazy predict like this okay this time what we are going to do is we are going to do make regression on the data creation side x y make regression Let's make the same numbers. Number of samples is going to be 2000. Number of features is going to be 20. And I'm going to call the Y and we are going to have different target values right now. We have a regression problem. I will say X train, X test, Y train and Y test. This time we will say train test split. And as the last one, we will pass X, Y, test size, Let's pass 20% this time. So the 20% of the data is going to be in the testing set. And also we can see it by here, it's going to be 400. Okay, now we are going to initialize the lazy regressor. It is going to be lazy regressor. And next, what I'm going to do is I will say models and I'm going to have a better looking table by doing this operation. I will say regressor.fit, I will pass x train, x test, y train, and y test like this. Now, when I make this run, it's going to train the models, and when it finishes, I'm going to be re recording. Now it's finished, and I'm going to say models and make this run. We can see our table is in here, and let's talk about them. So we have models starting from Bayesian Ridge and we have Lasso, Linear Support Vector Regressor, Linear Regressor, Ridge and at the last place we have Dummy Regressor. And in our table this time we have adjusted R squared, R squared, root mean squared error and time taken. And it's sorted for adjusted R squared and here we can see that we have models with this R squared values. So this was it for the coding part. Thanks for watching. Let's get to the outro. Thanks for watching my tutorial. I have a playlist named Data Science Courses and Projects where I have more than 40 videos just like this one. You can reach that playlist from the cards of this video or from the link in the description. Also, I'm sharing a new data science video every week on my channel. You can subscribe for more videos like this. Have a great day.